Head a harper for Joan. Miss Crawford is occupied. She's had enough time to sleep it off. Announce me. Is there anything we can do about these lines? I'm afraid it wouldn't be served for Thanksgiving dinner. The best you can do for this? High collars, turtleneck neck for a turkey neck. Christ, Nora, can't you give me some hope? Oh, you know how it is. Men age, they get character. Women age, they get lost. What? I'm sorry, Miss Joan. Heather Hopper's downstairs. Jesus. Heather. You know I never receive unscheduled guests, not even my children. <laughs> but here you are. <laughs> well, you ran out of the Globes last night before I could get a quote. Did I? Mamacita, coffee? Well, it was a marvelous event. I do so appreciate the foreign press. They've been so very kind to me. I didn't come here for the boilerplate, Joan. From what I hear, you stumbled out of there in a drunken fit. Well, you know how those award dinners can be. Stop! I must have eaten something that disagreed with me. Crow? <clears throat> Had to have been pretty galling watching the foreign press fawn all over Monroe like that. Heather, you know when I'm out in public events like that, I only drink Pepsi-Cola. I am the brand ambassador. I don't know why you keep plugging that shitty sugar water. Where it is since Al died, the board isn't paying your bills anymore. And you're having to sell your custom Billy Haynes furniture piece by piece just to keep the lights on. You wouldn't print those lies. Gotta print something. All right. Then print this. Joan Crawford. After mourning the passing of her husband, her beloved Alfred Steele, is ready to get back to work. Oh, come on, Joan, give me a quote. You know my readers would be fascinated with hearing the thoughts of yesterday's it girl about today's. <laughs> and there can only be room for one it girl. Is that right? Well, men built the pedestal, darling, not me. So only room for one goddess at a time. Well, men may have built the pedestal, but it's the women who keep chipping away at it until it comes tumbling down. So what's it gonna be, honey? A quote on Monroe? Or am I gonna have to write about how a valet saw you stumble into a Cadillac? All right. <laughs> Good. I think that Marilyn Monroe and the vulgarity of her clothing and pictures is ruining this great industry that I love. People don't want to see stars like Monroe in pictures. They want their stars to be wholesome, with good morals. Like me. That's not the only difference between you and her. She's getting roles. <laughs>